<laughs> on the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs> and I'll be making music with my friends. I just can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs> Oh my goodness. What inspired that? Is that Willie Nelson? No, but what inspired that, y'all, was a book that I had to reread over and over again. And I think this is about my fourth time reading this book. Every time I read it, I go through a purge within my own self, desensitizing my Willie Lynch chip. First of all, because I think a lot of y'all misunderstood me, just like Ice Cube, when I said how many of us, and maybe some of y'all just ain't lived long enough yet. I, you know, I am an elder, a elder states person on, on YouTube. Not too many, um, but, but, <laughs> um. I think it's very important that I explain myself because I think a lot of y'all giving me flack on Twitter. Um, my tweets telling me I ought to be ashamed of myself, calling me a Sambo and all that. First of all, y'all need to freeze the name calling. That's how ignorant you are. Because somebody disagrees with you, you don't go the first step is to call them names, okay? And that's how messed up we are as a black as a as a race. ADOS. Um, that's number one. We're messed up like that. Number two is, I put a question out there. I said, have any one of y'all done anything, especially if you pass 50, that you have regretted because there are consequences to it? Some of you Negroes out there that have given some women, got women pregnant and abandoned your children. And now your son's in jail. In and out, can't get it right on both of them on the left foot because you abandoned your family. Is that something that you did 30 or 40 years ago that you that, that's messed up? What about you Negroes who have sold people drugs? And they may have OD, but it wasn't a law then that if you kill somebody and they've used drugs that you sold them, you gonna go to jail for murder. How many of y'all got away with that? And it's on your heart. Damn, I saw wish we call it some shit, and they dead now. Huh? How many of y'all have done some actions with your life that have caused harm to a person, and you didn't know the harm it would cause when you first said it? Now, it's a lot of y'all out there. Now, whether y'all want to admit it, that's your own hell. But I know you out there. Because it that's just how life works. So now when I said that, it does not mean that I endorse Joe Biden. It does not mean that I'm saying that what Joe Biden did 40 years ago, um, he should not be held accountable for. It don't mean that. I just asked a question. And y'all can't even handle the damn question. You know? So it go with the territory. Just like you can't handle the question. Um, well, never mind. All I'm saying is sweep around your own door. It don't even have to pertain to this uh, election. I want to know how many of you Negroes or Negro peons or um, infidels or riffraff have ever done something. And as a result of what you've done, somebody suffered. Now, let that sizzle in your spirit for you come for me. I don't mean I'm perfect, but I'm certainly not going to take your damn abuse. Okay, because that's just ridiculous. Anyway, um, you know, the more I read the uh, uh, back of Tom Burrell's book, Brainwashed, um, and go over the book, like I said, it gives me a chance to purge my own uh, Willie Lynch chip, because all, all of us got it. You can act like you're so uh, above it if you want to, but if you are held captive in it, if you're over here, just by ver virtue of being over here, somebody was enslaved, somebody was uh, was 12 years a slave, somebody was re 
uh, enslaved, the bottom line was, was checkmate. Your ass was captured, right? So there's no way out if you hear and you Adolf's. So black people are not dark-skinned white people, says advertising visionary Tom Burrell. In fact, we are much more. They are much more. They are survivors of the Middle Passage and centuries of humiliation and deprivation who have excelled against the odds. Constantly making a no, a way out of no way. At this pivotal point in our history, the idea of black inferiority should have uh, had a going out of business cell a long time ago. After all, Barack Obama has reached America from his land. Yet, as brainwashed, challenging the myth of black inferiority testifies, too many in black America are still wandering in the wilderness. In this powerful examination of the greatest propaganda campaign of all time, the masterful marketing of black inferiority, a.k.a. the bi-complex, Burrell poses 10 disturbing questions that will make black people look in the mirror and ask why. Nearly 150 years after the Emancipation Proclamation, so many blacks still think and act like slaves. Burrell's acute awareness of the power of the words to shift and images to shift, shape, and change the collective consciousness has led him to connect the contemporary and historical dots that have brought us to this cro crossroads. Brainwash is not a reprimand. It's not. It is a call to action. It demands that we question our self-defeating attitudes and behaviors. Racism is not the issue. How we respond to uh, media distortions, hmm, attitudes, and behavior. Y'all want me to read that again? Brainwashed is not a reprimand. It is a call to action. It demands that we question our self-defeating attitudes and behaviors. Racism is not the issue. How we respond to media distortions and program self-hatred is really the issue. A lot of us don't want to deal with that. How we respond to the stimulus. How we respond. That's why you can't go two questions deep um, with a lot of us. When we disagree with each other or we disagree with somebody, you want to rip their head off, start calling them names. Right? Like Miss Battle did me on my Twitter. Because first of all, it, 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 it behooves you to shut your mouth and think. That's what it really does. It should behoove you to shut your mouth and think. It's time to reverse the buy campaign with a globally based initiative that harnesses the power of new media and the wisdom of integrated coalitions, intergenerational coalition. Provocative and powerful, Brainwash dares to expose the wounds so that we, at last, as a people, can heal. Now, As one great man always says, you can take it or you can let it alone. With that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And please check out the book by Tom Burrell called Brainwashed. 
because you don't even need a black card if you 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 you, you need to exempt it if you haven't read it because you're way behind the curve way behind to try desensitizing your Willie Lynch chip and keep living because there's a whole lot of stuff that you say today. You may not think that way tomorrow. Just keep living. And if God bless you and you're still here, holler at me.